What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since I last went fishing, but weather's been pretty iffy around here. Today, I'm going to hit up a couple of different spots, try to see where these trout are. Got a quick little announcement to make as well. For those of you who do not know, I'm going to be launching my very own fly fishing website called TMO Flies. I'll be selling custom Euro nymphs made using the highest quality of materials. All these patterns are going to be my unique takes on some classic patterns. So if y'all will be willing to support my business, I'd greatly appreciate it. It will be launching on February 20th. I'll showcase some of the flies later in the video. So yeah, I don't want to bore y'all with this intro. So let's get right to the fishing. at the second spot of the day right now first spot i went to wasn't so good didn't see any fish or get any bites so over here at this other creek now fishing some midges the water is pretty much perfect today it's high but it's clear so those are perfect uh winter fishing conditions so hopefully we're going to get in some fish all right i just put on a tiny little split shot I typically avoid doing that whenever I'm urine thing. I try to use the weight of my flies as opposed to adding weight, but the flies I'm using are super tiny, so to get them down in the strike zone as quickly as possible, gotta add a little extra weight. Fish on. There we go. Heck yeah. Once I added that split. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. He's wrapped. He's wrapped up. There. He's, he's unwrapped. There we go. Heck yeah. I knew that extra split shot would make a difference. Let's see what he ate. Oh, well, it took that little model midge fly. There we go, y'all. First little fish of the day here. Took the size 18 model midge fly. I'm going to showcase all the flies I was using at the end of today's video. Ah, get out of here, buddy. Alright, that's pretty much going to do for the fishing portion of this video. Got that one nice rainbow trout. Got a couple other bites, just couldn't hook up with them. But I'll definitely take it for the conditions that we had today. And I thought I'd take a little bit of time to showcase the flies that we'll be selling on my website. So let's get right to that. So this box contains all the flies that we'll be selling on my website. This box is actually missing a couple because I lost a couple flies to a bunch of trees today. Let's start off here in the upper left corner. Got some UV caddis flies. These are some of my favorite caddis imitations to use. Got a ton of flash and they look great under the water. And over here, got some regular caddis pupas. I actually tested these flies out today and they look ridiculous under the water. Very realistic and very subtle. Over here, we got some shop vac nymphs. The traditional shop vac is tied using pheasant tail fibers, but I tie these with dubbing because I find that it gives the, that it gives the fly much more buggy look. Then over here, we got some sexy waltz worms. These flies are very versatile and they work in just about any condition. We got some buggy hare's ears, pheasant tails, frenchies, pink head pheasant tails, stone fly jigs. Got some psycho prince nymphs over here. Then we got our mid selection, got the zebra midges. Then let me showcase the ones down here. These are a personal favorite of mine. This fly, I call it the model midge. I tie this fly only using thread, UV resin, little bit of dubbing at the head. It's tied on a modeled bead. And this is actually a fly that I caught my personal best rainbow trout on last year, 23 inches. I'll link the video in the description. Got of course some rainbow warriors going to tie these in size 16 and 18 then over here we got some brassy jigs i tie the body right here using just a little bit of copper wire and for the head here i use a little bit of black iridescent thread to give the fly a nice flashy look then we got our ecstasy eggs down here i want to sell the yellow in size 14 but don't have any in the box right now 
As you all know, I absolutely love using these flies. They're extremely effective on stock trout and steelhead. Then up here, we got some jig buggers and dubbing leeches. Then down here, we got some San Juan worms as well. These are just a classic pattern for stock trout and steelhead. Very effective. And right, these are pretty much all the flies that we'll be selling to start off here. I want to focus mainly on quality rather than quantity, which is why I'm only going to be selling these fly patterns to start off. These fly patterns are going to be tied using the highest quality of materials. I'm going to be using fooling mill beads, umqua hooks, and vivis thread. Each one of these flies I've used time and time again. I've caught a ton of fish on this, on these. So if you guys want to support my business, I'd greatly appreciate it. Website's going to be called TMO Flies. I'm going to link it in the description, and it will be launching on February 20th. All right, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed watching. Sorry I couldn't get into any more fish, but the fish numbers right now are pretty bad, and the water's pretty clear. So yeah, I'll take that for a day like today. They're going to be restocking in a couple weeks, so fishing's really going to start picking up here. So stay tuned for that, y'all. Be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Till next time, tight lines, y'all.